This video is about the Pierce Crystal Oscillator. It's a popular oscillator and in fact the whole circuit is very simple. At first you have to make a transistor amplifier and then couple the signal back from the output that's here to the input. This is the base. The correct working point from the oscillator is set by this potentiometer, it's 20k, and the amplification is set by this potentiometer in the emitter wire, emitter lead, and it's 1k. The amplification is also set by the value from this capacitor. This is very important. This capacitor is decisive for the frequency band where the whole circuit works. The crystal that I use is 2.091 MHz and here you see how I've made the circuit. It's all experimental of course. Um, and I want to demonstrate first what happens when we change the um, working point from the transistor by changing the value from this potentiometer. So this is the oscillation. Now I change the working point and you can see that there is deterioration and also that the signal diminishes. So this is a very important potentiometer. When you find such a circuit on the internet, never copy it without thinking about uh, what really happens in the circuit and use a potentiometer here then you can always get this circuit working. More in general, what happens when a circuit oscillates? In an, oscillation, in an oscillator you always find these um, elements. It's the amplifier, this can be a transistor amplifier or a tube amplifier. You also find a frequency dependent network and all that's done is that the output is connected via this lead to the input and here in the frequency dependent network the phase is shifted and that means that the amplifier starts to oscillate. It generates a certain frequency. Um, when the phase is not shifted you get a sort of backcoupling in your amplifier and that means that this frequency dependent network also works but gives a sort of peak resonance in the uh, frequency characteristic from your amplifier. But when the phase shifts the whole thing starts to beep or generate a higher frequency. So that's um, something to take in account. Uh, for oscillation it's necessary that the that, uh, phase shifts. This is the circuit as I have uh, showed it earlier. And now I want to demonstrate what happens when we change the uh, amplification by turning this potentiometer. So this is again the output signal. And now I change the amplification. And also this can give deter deterioration from the wave. So all the values here in the circuit are critical. This potentiometer and this potentiometer. And you have to adapt it to your personal situation. It depends also on the frequency from the crystal. By the way, this resistor is 2K2. Uh, 2200 ohms. Um, so here is the circuit again. Another point is that I found this crystal is 2.09 megahertz, but on the counter I read 6.2 megahertz. So a little bit strange, but I have to take that for granted that uh, this crystal oscillates on the third overtone. When we calculate this, 
uh, we can see that 2.09 uh, three times is 6.2 so this crystal is operating on the third overtone and that's the reason why it works on 6.2 uh, megahertz it doesn't always have to be that way you have to find that out experimentally so it's possible that when you take a crystal from 3 megahertz or so you will, you will see that it doesn't work on the third overtone but this depends on the crystal so only your oscilloscope and your counter uh, can give um, the solution to this question. Now I want to demonstrate finally what happens when we connect the oscilloscope to the 470p capacitor here and we can see that the damping from the oscilloscope is so heavy between these two connections that the oscillation is very weak. So now it is strong via the 18, 18 uh, picofarad capacitor and now it's weak because the oscillation circuit, the oscillator damps and now it's even, now it, it comes back but we have seen that uh, for a few moments there was no oscillation visible. So that's also something to take in account and often uh, with oscillators there is a buffer stage. So here after this capacitor there is another transistor in fact the same circuit as this, trans as this uh, circuit without a crystal of course and that acts as a buffer so that we can take out the signal from the oscillator at a low impedance. And that means that uh, the oscillation doesn't stop when we connect a low uh, resistance um, circuit to the output.